Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. So in short, what can you expect from the X5S? Well, it's going to be a 15.6 inch gaming laptop with a 4K screen, a single high-end NVIDIA GPU, a 6th generation Intel Skylake CPU, the new USB 3.1 Type-C, and a bunch of other really cool goodies that we'll get to as we get in the review. So those are the highlights. Let's go ahead and kick things off with the unboxing. So as we proceed with the unboxing, you'll see that we have a double boxing technique being used. Our outside box is purely for shipping purposes, and the inside box is where our laptop and its accessories are. The internal box here is very, very basic. It doesn't have any bright colors, just the logo on it. Inside, we're gonna find our laptop box with four foam inserts on the corners. That's gonna keep it protected during shipment in case any kind of uh, pressure is put on the box, it won't get bounced around or crushed. So once we open the third internal box, we'll see that we have the laptop on top with a protective sleeve on it. Now the X5S again is a 15 inch form factor gaming laptop. We'll set that aside and we'll come back to that in a much greater detail. Now underneath of the top, we're gonna to find our little pouch with the driver's disc and warranty information. Now with the Aorus X5S, since finally technology has moved enough that flash drives are the Way of the future, we don't have a DVD for system recovery, we actually have a flash drive. And our last compartment in the box is going to be on the right hand side. And that's going to have our power adapter. Of course that comes in two pieces. We have the adapter cable, which is specific to your region. And then we have the actual inverter. This is a nice low profile inverter, so it'll fit easier into a laptop bag. And we'll just zoom in real quick and show you all the specifications on the power output. Okay, it's time now to move into the laptop itself. So we have our oversized microfiber cloth in between the keyboard and screen to help keep it safe. We also have our little customer card there in between as well. We'll move first into our BIOS, and this is just for a overview of everything in the BIOS as far as options. We do actually have RAID configuration options in here with two SSDs if your laptop has been set up with two SSDs. However, the stock version only has a single so you would only get a single drive functionality out of the box. Now as we move a little bit further along, you'll see that we get to the system memory. And in there we'll find that we have four slots, two of which are already taken with eight gigabyte sticks of RAM. So that's 16 gigabytes of RAM stocked in the system, but you can upgrade it with two more additional slots that have easy user access. So that can take you all the way up to 48 gigabytes of RAM if you chose to put 16 gigabyte sticks in those two slots. So now the next step after the BIOS is gonna be booting up our system and that'll actually be our very first performance benchmark for the review. This is gonna be again the single SSD. And from post all the way into login to the desktop, we're timing it at about 20 seconds. The next measurement we'll give you is going to be the weight and size. So the laptop itself comes in at just over five pounds and 13 ounces. If we throw in the power adapter as well, the full travel size and weight is gonna be seven pounds and 11 ounces. Now for the measurements, we have coins on there for scale and we'll take a tape measure and we'll give you the actual accurate readings. 
Now, of course, you can see with the tape measure that the front of the laptop does sit lower than the back, that traditional wedge shape, but it's still fairly thin throughout the laptop. So now with all the introductory stuff aside, we can move into our laptop tour. First thing we'll do is cut the lights and show you in the dark that we do have a single color LED backlit keyboard. Also up above it, you see our screen. This is a 4K matte screen. So this is a very high resolution, non-glossy screen. For the chiclet keyboard, you can see we have the embedded arrow keys, but a full number pad layout. WSAD keys are there and highlighted for gaming purposes. And our G keys on the left hand side are the macro keys. And you can customize those through the software. And the front right, we have our status LEDs. You can see our hard drive blinking away. In the center, a single oversized touchpad with the integrated left and right clicks. So now we'll sweep down to the sides and we'll show you our interfaces. So we do have, of course, some exhaust there in the very left, followed by a mini display port. That is a non-used HDMI port there. So we have following that two 3.5 millimeter audio connections, one for headphones and one for microphone. And we have the USB 3.1 type C port. Now moving along to the rear. We have our exhaust on the far left and right. We do have the Oris logo on the center of the lid, which is slightly beveled. Then as far as the interfaces go, we have our power adapter port on the left, a VGA output for video next to that, a single USB 3 port, and the RJ45 connection for the local networking. And the final side, which is the right side, we have an SD card reader, two USB 3.0 ports, and a HDMI output. So as you can see, a very nice complete laptop has all the interfaces you would need for usability. Definitely very thin and light for being that it's such a high performance laptop and the great features inside. So speaking of that, we'll move into the device manager next so we can see what is inside as far as the rest of our hardware. Okay, here we are, welcome to the device manager. We'll just quickly dive through here, point out the highlights. So highlight number one is our dedicated graphics from NVIDIA, that's the GeForce 980 GTX. We do have killer for the wired networking, and of course the sixth generation Intel Core i7 Skylake CPU. The monitor deserves some attention. This is a panel made by Sharp. It's of course a 4K resolution, that's 3840 by 2160 pixels. So very high resolution. It's a matte coating, so it's non-glossy, non-reflective, and that runs at 60 hertz. Next up on the agenda is gonna be our performance benchmarks. But first we wanna look at our current temperatures for our baseline. So we're just shy of 50 degrees Celsius on our CPU, and we're just over 40 degrees Celsius on the GPU. These are great to check beforehand, that way you know how much hotter they got once we actually put the system under load. Also, the current ambient noise levels right now show that we're just over 25 decibels. And just a few more reading points, we're going to see how much noise we get right outside of the exhaust.
On our way to the gaming performance benchmarks, we do have the crystal disk mark scores for you first. This is that single SSD, our current read and write speeds. And next, ju just a quick demo of the command and control center. You could spend a lot of time here because there's a lot of really cool software inside of it, but we're just showing you the overview. So here we have the system gauges. This is how your system is currently performing. We have our full fan control here so we can manually ramp up the speed of the fan or you can set it to different presets. This of course means you can have it as cold as possible at the highest setting at the cost of some noise or you can lower it down. And then here is the macro key software. This is where you'll control what the G keys do on the left hand side of the keyboard. And of course you can use a lot of the many different built-in presets or you can go ahead and fully customize and build your own. Again, for the sake of the review, we're just quickly browsing through most of this just so you have an idea of what's there. But it would be something you could spend a lot more time with on your own to really get involved with all of the software that Aorus provides with a laptop. And here we are with the performance score from 3D Mark 11. This is a performance score of 11,099. Here is the GPU Z information on that NVIDIA GTX 980 mobile. And of course, here is those thermal readings. So we can see the CPU went up to about mid 60s on the temperature, which is not that much more than what it was at ambient. And down below, the GPU got into the 82 degrees Celsius range. So these are really good thermal figures from this laptop. And of course, a really good performance score. And we've got the next test running right now. We went ahead and put the noise meter back up on screen. We're going to see if we notice any differences in the idle state that we measured earlier versus a load state now. Once those fans start spooling up to keep the system cool, of course, they're going to make more noise. But this is such an arbitrary figure. What's loud, what's quiet? There's no number to look at. It's really more of a relative measurement. So checking out some of the other reviews that we've done, and you can look at other similar systems and see if this is relatively more quiet or more loud than those is the best way to make use of these measurements. So as our benchmark finishes up, we see that on Fire Strike we got a score of 8,145. And we'll go back to our temperature readings and we'll see that they're actually identical to 3D Mark 11. Mid 60s on the CPU and the GPU sitting at about 80 degrees. So very good temperatures on the results here. All right, this next test is the maximum speaker volume.
All right, with that little segment now complete, we're going to be moving into the final aspects of our review, the disassembly. So disassembly of this system has us go around the perimeter and remove several screws to get the entire bottom panel off. Keep in mind that if you were to go into your laptop for any reason that we do have different lengths of screws, they need to go in the same way they came out or you could break something. Now once we take the bottom panel off, we'll get to see the user accessible upgrade areas and an overall configuration of what's inside. Now pre-configured in the laptop, we have that single SSD on the left and we have our mechanical storage drive on the bottom right. You'll see the empty areas being the user upgradable areas. So we have the two system RAM slots at the top. Those can accept up to 16 gigabyte DIMMs of DDR4. And then we have two M2 SATA or PCI Express SSD slots here in the center. And those are the two SSDs that can go into RAID with each other if you chose to have a RAID setup. Overall, that's all there really is for the user side of it. And that's actually going to bring us to the end of our review. So if you're interested in the Aorus X5S, I would encourage you to go to our website, gentechpc.com, and look at the product page. We'll have that link in the description of the video. Because on that page, we have a lot more information than just the review here. We have all the manufacturer's advertisement, product specs, and feature sheets, as well as the current pricing and availability. Now, if the video didn't answer any questions you might have had and you'd like to ask those in the comments down below, then feel free to do so and we'll answer those for you. But if you need more one-on-one -on -one help, then feel free to contact us by phone or email. And of course, we're happy to help you out that way as well. So once again, we just want to remind you that this is Gentech PC and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.